So, do you want to play around with Windows 11, but you don't want to put it on a virtual machine? Well, today, I'm going to show you how to do a bare metal install. Stay tuned. Doesn't meet the system requirements? Yeah, right. If you saw my last video, you'll know that I was running Windows 11 on a bare metal system and not a virtual machine. Honestly, I didn't want to run it on a virtual machine. However, when you try to set up Windows 11 on bare metal, it gives you an error that says your system doesn't meet the minimum system requirements. That's because the Windows 11 installer requires the trusted platform module in order to install. So if your system doesn't have a trusted platform module, you're out of luck. However, there's a neat little hack where you actually use the Windows 10 installer in order to install Windows 11. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do that. If you'd like to actually see Windows 11, then I'll go ahead and tag that video here. This video is only gonna be about how to install it. If you wanna actually see the new features and how Windows 11 looks, go ahead and check out that video. Otherwise, let's go ahead and create the ISO. Now, if you'd like to set up Windows 11 on actual hardware and not a virtual machine, you're going to have to follow a couple of steps. Essentially, what we're going to be doing is creating a new ISO using the Windows 10 installer in order to install Windows 11. So to do that, what we're going to need is we're going to need both the Windows 10 and the Windows 11 ISO. Now, the Windows 10 ISO, you can get easily by just downloading the media creation tool and asking it to create the ISO for you instead of upgrading your computer. Now the Windows 11 ISO, unfortunately, I can't tell you where to get that. You're going to have to find it on your own, but it is pretty readily available. It didn't take me long to find, so you should be okay there. So what we want to do is the first step we want to take is we actually want to open up both of these ISOs and you can actually do this in Windows 10. If you right click on it, you can just hit mount and it will mount the ISO within Windows. So what we're wanting to do now is we're actually wanting to copy all of these files right here into a temporary folder. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open up another file explorer window here. And then from here, I'm gonna go into a temporary folder I already created called Windows 11. And we're gonna take everything. Now remember, we're doing this to the Windows 10 ISO right now. So we're gonna copy everything from the Windows 10 ISO and copy it over to our temp folder. And it's gonna take a minute for this copy to finish. And once it's done, we can go to the Windows 11 ISO. Okay, and there we go. So now here we're gonna hit the back button and now we're gonna do the same thing with the Windows 11 ISO. We're gonna right click, we're gonna hit mount and it's gonna mount it just like that. Now what we wanna do is we wanna go into the sources folder and we wanna scroll down until we find a file called install.wim. This is the file that essentially holds all of the operating system right here. So we wanna find the same file in our temporary folder in the Windows 10 installation files. So we're gonna click on sources and we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna look for exactly the same file. And here we go, we have install ESD. Now you might notice that this one's ESD and this one's WIM. It's okay, don't worry about it. Essentially what we're gonna do now is on the Windows 10 install folder, our temporary folder, we're gonna delete the install ESD or WIM depending on which one you have. I'm going to delete that and then we're going to take the install WIM from this folder and drag it over and drop it in here. And it's going to take it a minute to copy because it's about four gigs. Now once it's copied over, now we have to actually create our ISO. And to do that, we're going to use a program called ImageBurn. This is a free program that you can get, just download it off the internet, go ahead and search for it. Now we want to choose Create Image from Files and Folders. So we click on this. In this top box, we wanna go ahead and click here and we wanna choose our Windows 11 directory that we just created. So if we look in here, this is our sources. This is where the Windows 10 installation files are. This is our new custom ISO. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna hit select folder. And then from there, we wanna choose a destination. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the same folder that we have these copied into. I'm not gonna call it Windows 11 because I already have an ISO called that. So I'm gonna call it Windows 11 hardware, because this one's gonna allow us to install it on real hardware and not a virtual machine. So we're gonna go ahead and hit save. And now we wanna click on the advanced tab. And this is very important. Follow these directions really closely. We have to click on advanced, and then we gotta click on bootable disk. And you wanna check make image bootable. And then from here, the boot image, we're gonna go ahead and click this little explore button. And we wanna go into our Windows 11 folder here. 
we want to go into the boot folder and then we want to pick this etfsboot.com. So click on that and go ahead and hit open. And then right here where it says sectors to load, change this four to eight. And then once that's done, go ahead and push this build button right here and it will build your ISO for you. Go ahead and click yes. Click OK, and it's going to go ahead and build it now. It's going to take a second for this to build, but it shouldn't take too long. And there we go. We got our silly little song. I'm not sure if that came out in the screen capture, but we're going to go ahead and hit OK. We're going to close this now. And now, if we click our back button here, you'll notice that we have a new ISO right here. So now this ISO, we have to somehow get this ISO onto a USB drive. And for that, I'm gonna use a program called Rufus. I've used this before. I've actually covered it in videos before, so I'm not gonna go into real detail on how to use it. It's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna give you the steps right now for this in particular application. So go ahead and plug a USB drive into your computer. It should automatically run here. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. And then we're gonna open Rufus. I'm gonna hit yes. And then we want to make sure to pick the USB drive that we just plugged into the machine. And then we want to select the ISO that we just created. It's going to be this one right here. It's going to be in your folder that you created it, the Windows 11 hardware ISO. We're going to go ahead and hit open. And then from this point, we hit start and then hit OK. And it'll go ahead and create the ISO. Now, this is going to take quite a while. It took me a good 10, 15 minutes, depending on the speed of your hardware, it could actually take you even longer. So just be patient and let it go its route and eventually it'll be done. And once it's done, you can use this USB drive to install Windows 11 on any computer you want. And that's all there is to it. Just take your USB thumb drive, plug it into a system, and you should be able to install it just like you would install Windows 10. And then you can enjoy Windows 11. However, just like I warned in the last video though, you really don't want to run this on a production machine. You don't want to run this on a machine that you rely on for daily work because this is a pre-release. This isn't even a beta. This is actually a leaked development copy of Windows 11. So unfortunately, it's prone to have a lot of bugs. So if it messes anything up, don't blame me. But have some fun playing around with it. If this video was helpful to you, then please like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon so you can be notified of future videos. I post a new video every week. And hey, before you go, check out a couple of these videos. Have a great day.